sorry about this wind folks I don't even know if you can hear me over this wind blowing across the mic but I'm down at Point Cook uh, there's this um, wildlife sanctuary here and just spotted these shorebirds I do believe I'm not quite sh not quite 100% sure but I believe they're some type of plover feeding on the foreshore here they run quite fast I'm having difficulty actually standing upright myself this wind is so strong I'm actually hanging on to this camera tripod here to stop me being blown over A few of them here, there's two or three I can see. These black back still are absolutely gorgeous. I just can't um, really get enough of these beautiful looking birds. feeding in the shallow there sorry about the shaky camera folks even though I've got this on a tripod um, I'm being me and the camera's being blown around in this wind here it's um yeah it's a really very windy day Hi folks, I'm still down here at Point Cook. This is a slightly more sheltered position where I am here on the foreshore. And again, I thought I'd take the opportunity to do a bit of beach combing and see what I could find on the edge of the shore here. And I have found some quite interesting things. I don't know if you remember when I was at Sandringham. Abalone, I think, abalone shells. Um, and then I mentioned about the pipe barnacles. Well, it's actually grown inside those pipe looking barnacles are actually grown inside this abalone shell, which is absolutely fascinating how it's done that inside the shell. And then, of course, there's huge abalone shells here with actually barnacles again grown on its surface quite large barnacles these ones and then um, inside there's a beautiful mother of pearls and then there's this interesting shell here I found beautiful colouring inside and there's some sort of little uh, animals um, like flea looking animals um, but again these pipe looking barnacles and a larger one has grown on the surface of this shell so it's utilizing but these things here make really make me wondering they look like massive great big scales of some fish there's lots of them here, all varying sizes. There's one over here, interesting. Looks like that's where it's attached to the fish, maybe. Some massive, great big scale for the side of some fish. I don't know, got no idea. But again, 
all these interesting things you can pick up and have a look at as you're walking along the beach. Yes, um, gone back into my beach bum mode. Alright folks, so I've actually reached this bend here on the beach and there's actually a marker here that says Point Cook. I'm not quite sure there's any connection with Captain Cook, but anyway, this is um, sort of a quite a sh sharp pinnacle here. Sorry about the crooked rising as I'm turning this camera. Um, it does look a bit weird, I must admit. Um, so there's in that direction, and then there's um, this is Port Phillip Bay, obviously, and there's uh, Melbourne or the city in the background over there just about city see here and then right round to the left here as it goes all the way around the, the bay in that direction but what's interesting for me here is actually this variety of bird life that they've congregated around this little point here There's a, you can see there's a heron feeding there. Sorry about the wind. Um, as I turn the corner here, they got caught into the wind. Anyway, there's different types of seagulls, cormorants. Um, lots of different varieties of ducks. Couldn't find out well couldn't see those ducks anymore with the funny looking beaks but it's quite a quite a collection here and obviously the black swans so yeah quite an interesting little point here point cook boom boom The seagulls here skipping the ocean. Dancing on the wind. Magnificent. Dancing on the wind. The wind blowing in their face. Probably having to keep the effort of actually keeping in one spot. Oh, there's a couple of those larger seagulls now. Gorgeous to see these birds. Having to, it looks like it's quite an effort to actually keep flapping, to stay in one position as um, in the wind rather than being blown back. Skipping over the ocean, there's actually a song. An old song, um, Harry Nielsen, I think it was, uh, talks about skipping over the ocean. Let's see if I can dig that one up on YouTube. Everybody's talking at me, I think it's everybody's talking at me. Can't hear a word they're saying, only the shadows in my eyes. Okay, I oh, know. Stick to me, Jay. Job. I oh, know. <laughs> you made it.